All these materials can be recovered, and that's half the battle when it comes to recycling. Every year in Germany, Der Grüne Punkt collects, sorts, and then recovers more than two million tons of used sales packaging. In order to separate from one another the recyclable materials from the yellow Saxon bins, Germany has state-of-the-art sorting plants like this. Screen drums divide the flow of substances into smaller and larger packages, like films for example. The films are subsequently removed by extractor fans, and an overbelt magnet takes the metal cans out of the recyclable materials as they pass. What are called eddy current separators are able to sort and remove aluminium packages, like cans or tubes. A magnetic field makes sure that they are ejected from the conveyor belt and catapulted over a partition wall for collection. Near-infrared separators detect different packaging materials using the light spectrum that's being reflected. The packages are recorded and blown out under computerized control. This principle works not only for beverage cartons, but also for a huge variety of plastics. This means that polyethylene, polystyrene, PET and polypropylene, or PP for short, can be separated from each other and passed in homogeneous form to a recycling process. And the results are rather impressive. In plants like this, Der Grüne Punkt is meanwhile recycling 600,000 tons of plastic waste every year. What looks like a colourful mix of plastics here is actually almost homogeneous polypropylene. These packages are used to produce secondary raw materials whose quality loses nothing in comparison to new plastics. The bales of PP material are fed into the system and first of all are comminuted. Metal contents like the baling wires are extracted by an overbelt magnet. In the heavy substance trap, the polypropylene floats to the top. The heavier substances remaining, meaning metals and other types of plastic, sink to the bottom and are removed. In a subsequent washing process, the paper fibers from the labels are also detached and sieved out. Following a second sink or swim separation procedure, large size blowers dry the PP snippets. Once they have been filled in big bags as grinding stock, they can be reused elsewhere. Or they can be placed in a silo for interim storage and then remelted in an extruder to make lens-shaped regranulate. The polypropylene regranulate is a marketable, high-quality intermediate product from which the plastics industry manufactures an enormous spectrum of different items. These include paint buckets, transport crates, baskets, plant pallets or pots and much more. And when they have served their purpose, we have come full cycle.